Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. So from this video, we are going to start a new video series on the Android application. So this is food application. So in this video, I will show the demo of the application. So here we have application that depends on the three types of the user like admin, customer and writer. So let's test the application, how it's looking, what we are going to create in this application. So let's open it. So when we open this application, it will show the splash screen for five seconds and then it will redirect to the user selection. So here we can select the user. So first I will select the owner. Owner is like a restaurant owner. So here I will click on the owner. So it will redirect to the page where we can log in. So owner only can log in the user. So this email and password, I mean user ID and user password is stored in the database. So we have a need to register the restaurant owner so first i will click on the login and it will open the home screen of the admin where all the item lists available so here you can see we have item list so admin can add the item add it and delete the items so let's click on the menu so here we can click on the add food so it will open a bottom sheet so here we can select the image of the food Okay, from the Android device, we can select any image. So here we have sample image, we can select any of them. And here we can type the food name. Let's say I type here pizza. And then I will put the price. Let's say I select $2 and then I will write the details. So here I will give the details. This is sample text. and then I will click on the submit to add the food. So it will open the dialog and it will add the item into the database. So if we scroll down and here you can see we have new item that is pizza. So if I click on this item, it will open the new page where we can see the details of this food. So here we can add it. Let's say I click here add it and here we can update any item. Let's, let's say I click here update it and when i click on the update it will update the food item so scroll down again and here you can see we have updated item so let's click it again and here we can simply click to delete it so here you can see now it's deleted so in this way we can add update and delete the food items by the owner so let's say next is seafood items it will receive the food items from the uh, customers so third is logout so you, admin can also log out okay so now we will log in as a customer so here i will select the customer customer also can register or login so here we will select the email and the password for customers so i will put it okay now i will put the password and here we can click on the login to login and it will open the home page now here you can see we have home page so customer can search any foods let's say at the top we click on the search bar and here we will click and search pizza and here you can see we have only pizza items so let's say i select here burger you can see here we have only burger items so it's live searching feature and then we can like any food so here you can see we have burger item we can simply like or dislike you can see here it's disliked i mean dislike is a normal routine so if i click and here you can see it's liked so we can click on any item suppose i click on the pizza and i can select the two items and click on the add to cart and here you can see we have item added in the cart so let's go back to our home page and let's say i select any other item so i select this one and this time we have three pieces required so let's say i click on add to cart and go back to here we can see we have only two parcels so we can also click here to select the cart page here you can see and also we can click on this icon to open that page and here we can simply click to check out so here let's say i click on the check check out and here you can see now we have zero item in the cart so let's go to our order history so here you can see we have few completed order and we have one pending order so if i click on the pending order so here you can see we have the option to cancel it 
before order sent and if we go back and we have also other feature like we can open the profile and update the profile and then we have order history and we have logout feature so now we will open the third feature that is third user that is writer so if i open writer here also we can register our login now i will put the email and the password for the writer so here we will put email and password and then i will click on the login it will open the home page of the writer so here we have three options three buttons so first of all writer can see the google map to search any location so here you can see writer can search his location this is the feature for the writer so next feature that is view available order so here we have list of available order so you can see we have one order that uh, customer sent so here we have to click we can view customer address where we have to send the order so also we can click on the view map here the information of the user so here we can click on the view map to open the location of that particular customer okay here you can see now we have customer location here we have to send the parcel so now go back and here we can proceed the order so let's say i click on the proceed the order now order changed so order is going to be sent now no order is available for now so if i click on the completed order so here you can see we have list of the completed order that i have completed I mean i am the writer of this application so if i click here we can see the information of that particular parcel so here we can see the location of that particular user so last feature is also he can log out so this is our application we will also add more feature like notification etc like chat and feedback so if you are interested to create this application please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with us